What's up, y'all? You're watching You and Your Minded. I'm your host, Eric, and today I want to talk to you about House District 65 and the importance of this election. It's been targeted by the AFL-CIO as one of the most critical elections in Virginia. Um, it may well determine control of the House of Delegates. It is uh, being watched by a lot of eyes, and it's because it is important. We have a chance to elect a very pro-labor candidate. He's so pro-labor that IBEW Local Union 26 sent me a letter. And I found this letter when I was going through my mail today. And um, I want to read you this letter. And for you Local 26 members that come across my videos, Stick around to the end because I got some information that I need to share with you that I hope you take full advantage of because it's very critical, especially to our sisters in the trade, to our daughters in our families, to our wives. It's very, very important. And you can make a very real difference and be the vanguard of working people. I'll tell you how. But first, let's talk about this letter, man. Like I said, I was going through to my mail. Lo and behold, letter from Local 26, and I open it up, and here's what I read. Dear Local 26 member, Virginia is holding a very important election this year for the entire General Assembly, as well as local elections, and I am writing to remind you about what is at stake for our members. IBEW Local 26 engages in the political process for one reason, to expand work opportunities for union electricians. Our goal is to secure laws and regulations that enhance the growth of good union jobs in the localities where we live. This requires electing pro-union officials at both the state and the local level. Our political program is working. In recent years, we have achieved the expansion of data centers and other developments, required use of prevailing wage scales, Davis-Bacon rates for state and local projects, and gained project labor agreements, all of which increase our union's market share. As our market share grows, we can bargain for higher wages and better benefits. After meeting with the candidates, we are endorsing those who support policies that expand jobs for our members. While we are informing you of the union's endorsements, we fully respect your right to make your own decision on who to vote for. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at activism at ibewlocal26.org. IBEW Local 26 endorses the following candidates. Joshua Cole, House of Delegates. I encourage you to exercise your right to vote. Fraternally, Joe Dabbs, Business Manager. Josh Cole, House of Delegates. That's District 65. So our IBEW Local 26 is endorsing the pro-labor candidate. I, on a personal note, can tell you as a matter of fact that Joshua Cole is the most pro-labor candidate running probably in the state of Virginia. I've met him during his first campaign and he was running as a justice Democrat fully, fully funded by the people. And he didn't win the first time around, he won the second time around and he did a great job for us. Um, he's been an ally and sadly, um, in 2020, a very race, racial, racially driven time in 2020, uh, Tara Durant took advantage of the, the sentiment that was going around and through sh her feigning the victim, she won her election against Josh. But Josh is running again and he has a chance to win House District 65 and represent labor in the, in the state house. And here's your shot to get behind him 
this Saturday at 12 p.m. Shoot me a message. I'll leave my email in the description box. Shoot me a message. If you are in Virginia and you're interested in getting into this fight and really putting your foot on the ground and putting a stop to this craziness um, on the far right that's spreading, and it's really not the far right anymore. It's just Republicans at this point. I wish it were the far right, but it's not. They're all endorsing these similar policies, and so we have to fight back against that. And the main issue that, that, that's on the ballot is reproductive health. It's a woman's right to choose. It's, one, it's our sister's right to health care. It's our wives' right to health care. It's our mom's right to health care. It's our daughter's rights to health care. That's what's on the ballot. And Josh is going to be on the vanguard defending women's rights and defending labor. And we will be canvassing for Josh this Saturday, October 14th, next Saturday, October 21st, and the following Saturday, October 28th. Three dates, three dates to hit the canvas hard and get the word out and push for folks to know how critical this election is. And you heard it here, Local 26 is endorsing. I'm gonna be out there pounding the pavement and I could use all the help I can get. You'll hear from me in text messages if I know you personally and you watch these videos. If I don't know you personally yet, Shoot me an email. Let's meet. And let's get some work done. For labor. <sighs> My name is Eric. You're watching Union Minded. Remember, the fight's not left and right. It's up and down. It's going to take solidarity to win always. Each one teach one. Get out there and reach one. And remember, there could be no union without you and I front and center. Peace.